Hello again everyone, welcome back to the last cube. Previously, we came up to the red set of doors. We completed the first two, although we missed a collectible on the way. Probably go back for that another day. Right now though, we are in red three, living on the edge. Right, we've got yellow. Okay, interesting. Do we need to be zooming around a bit more, perhaps? That's definitely not the direction I wanted to go. Give me more yellow faces immediately, please. Right, so we're going to go... Yellow, zoom, 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 zoom. Yes. And now we have lasers of some kind. But before that... Well, we can't take anything over in that direction. Oh, we need to find some red and bring it back, of course. Well, that was simple enough. Break the laser send the weighted companion cube over. And find our way along. Now I see a cube over there. And I would like it. So I'm guessing that once we step down here we can collect that. Just one for collecting, no lore attached. But then we can teleport using the purple stuff, yes. Back to where we need to be. Good show. So, this strips us of our colours, of course. Give me some extra ones of these. Now, this looks curious, doesn't it? All kinds of things changing in 3D space. Let's get some of these on different faces. Of course, it would help if I was using the correct side. Come on, give me just a couple more of those. Good, right. So how are we going to get onto that bridge? I guess we're going to go like that. More secrets. Can't step off the very specifically shaped grid, but that's fine. Switch for you. What is that there? Oh, that's the same style of switch, no problem. Alright, so with that done, I guess... We're just dropping down here. It looks good to me. And now we've got lots of branching stuff. Curiously, this is right here, but slightly out of the way. I'm guessing it's going to be in relation to crossing this water that will clear our stickers coming up here and then dropping down with our orange skill. So, anywhere else we can get to, we can drop down here. Bring over that cube. We can only go on the white tiles, so we can't lose it entirely. But we do need to step off in the opposing direction to pick up our sticker. 
Now, we need to make sure we don't let the orange sticker touch the water. And that then it is going to be face up when we get to here. Laser beams. Contrary to undesirable belief, understandable belief, lasers are not deadly. You can be certain that all lasers encountered on your puzzle path are approved by the Council of Six and are therefore safe to interact with. This perfect track record of safety is maintained by appending only those events that are needed for the track recording of safety. If you are a perfectionist and have a selective memory, please apply for the safety track recording position on the red side after you've done on the once after you're done on the path to serve as the red counselor. Laser beams are often used to activate lifts, bridges, and other deadly remo de other devices remotely. Not deadly devices. A cube can split a beam into many branches by having the correct stickers on it, or it can block a beam. You'd be surprised how much of our infrastructure is reliant on cubes that manually redirect, split, and block beams. Why replace what works? All right, that is all of our collectibles, I believe. Uh, how are we getting? Cross here. Not like that. Oh, we need to move this assistance cube out of the way. And now we can use the path that it was on as our own. We need to pick up another orange face, though, are we? Oh, okay, this is trickier. We need the orange face. Which we can get from the cube being on our side. So that gives us the orange face. But if we step down, we're going to lose it. So how can we get down in a manner that does not make us touch that yellow grid line that will get rid of our sticker? Because we have to pass the grid line to get this cube out of our way. But we need the orange sticker to do that switch there afterwards. That was not what I wanted to do. All right, we're going to have to reset that one. Give me some faces, please. Right, I want orange up. And then one, two, three, four, five. No, we're short. How are we going to break the beam? Oh, interesting. Very interesting. We can break it from midair. Very clever design. All right, we need to be orange side up for this. get rid of our stickers and we've got a very very long laser beam that is the switch to progress that is a piston by the looks of it oh hello new strange abilities Again, very clever that to pick up this sticker and move out with the sticker, you must trigger this to be at 90 degree angle, teaching you about the other things you can do. It's very well implemented. Right, give me a yellow. That's done. Then 
another wipe, so don't have to worry about bringing any faces with us. This orange is what we need to progress, but we have this small complex here. So we've got blue, we've got orange. Remembering that we can rotate with blue. Important. Right, then blue, blue, yellow. Interesting. You can't rotate if you don't have room to do so. Right, how are we going to get... the correct face up when we need it. That's not the button I wanted to press. So we need to rotate our blue around in some capacity. But we can add additional blues by doing this and that should free us up to create the lines that we need excellent okay so then we can pick up an orange orange on the side is fine by me because we can rotate and that is everything. Now, there is a yellow grate to cross on our way out, so we don't have to worry about trying to preserve stickers. And now we have this great big grid looking thing. Right. Now, these are water, so if we ever step on those with our faces, like this blue face here, gets washed off so we need to be careful about which paths we take around here question is can we actually move any of these boxes or is it going to be a case oh oh that's super interesting so we need to get all the lasers going in the correct direction so that needs to be a red laser uh, so where's my red face We've lost our red face, but that's fine. We can pick up another one. And with blue faces and rotation, we should be able to get a red face over there. Right, that is plenty of red faces. So, we want a red face face down here. Alright, that's half done. Now we need to do the blue half. So, we'll get some more blue faces. Actually, just wash me off. That's fine. Now give me a whole bunch of blue faces. Uh, 
I said a whole bunch of blue faces. This is awkward. Right, well, for a start, we can do that one. And then once we have two blue faces, we can just rotate around to get the rest. We'll go the long way so we don't accidentally pick up an orange. Really interesting that you can use lasers to shoot straight upwards in 3D space as well. No idea if that will come into things later on. But that is our red side of face done. Achievement unlocked, danger and fire. And a one, and a two, and a three. Living on the edge challenge. Finish the level in under three minutes. That sounds like quite the task. But for right now, as discussed earlier, we can now come down this little secret panel here, slide along there, grab another unlock, teleport across, and that is those three done. But there is an orange tile over here. And that unlocks this side of things. I'm curious as to what the four different purple things do. I'm guessing these are related to bonus levels. I wonder if they're all different. So, this is the one between red and purple. Yeah, I have no idea if those are different, but hey, we will learn eventually, I suppose. I'm also intrigued by these yellow ones that are not on 90 degree angles. I don't know if the whole thing will shift and morph to make itself be a viable path later or what. But right now, it seems to make most sense that we just kind of carry on through here. Now, we are teased immediately with a bonus we cannot have. But now we have three green doors and door number one, green one, a temporary friend. Right. Lush green grass. Sticker green unlocked. Oh. Interesting. With green on your top face, you may spawn a temporary friend. Your temporary friend cannot use sticker powers. Oh. Interesting. Come on, I'm going to get there eventually. There we go. All right, so we can right-click to get rid of this extra one that we spawned. Go back to our OG cube. It now makes a lot more sense how we are going to get that bonus one. A temporary friend. What are we really looking at doing here? Well, I can see a bonus one down there for certain. We can do this. Okay, so we're going to need that on top. 
whilst we're holding the switch down, we can come collect yellow. And we managed to pass off our yellow. Oh, they swap. Super interesting. Right, we lost our yellow. Let's go get some more. And there's some kind of green cloud over there. I guess that's to insinuate that blocks too high will be lost. Uh, so I wonder if we find a green face for ourselves. And make sure the green is upright just here. Then we can drop down. Collect our bonus, the Explorer. Good, okay. And then we will stumble through here. Zero out of four. Okay, a new mini objective here. We're going to need extra copies of this to make this easier. Okay. So we sent our extra one along. But we can't use cube powers here. So, how are we going to collect this one? Okay. And they switch on and off, so we can send our other version of ourselves back to reset the switch so we can collect both of those. Very nice. Anything hiding on the back sides of these platforms. Nothing immediately visible, so we will press on. It's going to give us some yellow for zooming. need it to be face down, not face up. I don't know why my brain tries to do it the other way nearly every single other time. And we are up in partly the canopy, although we are near a bunch of fresh new tree trunks, I suppose. Okay. Well, we're dropping down for a start. Right, we are all green. Right, let's get a yellow face. What happens if we do... Okay, we can't zoom off the end of this table. But we can... do this. So we need... I believe, to set up the second half of the laser first come down here make sure we have some yellow make sure we are underneath that one there and once we get that in the right spot just give me give me more yellow if in doubt add more faces 
There we go. So then we can right click, get rid of the bonus one. Quick cursory look for secrets. And we're on our way. Right, we need yellow down to go up here. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff to collect. Well, for a start, we can go... That's seven. That's eight. I don't know what that is. I can see a secret over here. Very good. Back up. Right, we're going to need some green to get these last couple, obviously. So we need to go... Now we have a green face. And our last one right here. Now, the question is, what is this stuff up here for if we already have all ten? Well, we have a laser. That's probably going to be relevant. So, I need green up, red across... I'm going to go get some... Oh, we don't have any more green because it's down there for collecting. All right, I can figure this out. Green up, red facing the laser direction. It's close, but I guess what we can do is... If we go and get all of our other faces red, then it's going to be way easier to do that. Now we need a yellow face. Where were the... Uh, these are yellow faces, right? No, that's the yellow face. Come on, give me yellow where I need it to be. Yellow. Thank you. And that looks like the end of the stage over there. Not too many components here. So we've got a secret. We've got some red. got a ramp which is curious so going down I suppose right, we're gonna have to get some extra oh wait we can't get more copies of green we're limited to this exact one are we Okay then, so we need Oh, we can add more of our own faces around. Very clever. So then we need the one with top and bottom on the button. Then we can have the button down and come and collect some red faces. And with red faces collected, we can unlock our exit. But before we do that, there is the question of 
the secret. Now, presumably, we're going to want a lot of green faces for this. Now, there are... not enough tiles, but I wonder if we could do something like one, two... Oh, I was on the... I was on the extra cube. Right, give me the cube prime. Then is it going to be something like one, two... Gonna be, it's going to be something like this, isn't it? How are we going to get green to be up at the end? This die has green on all faces. We could theoretically put red on one side so that when we lift up one, then we could fall forwards one, perhaps. But we clone a blank cube, which is the tricky part. We can't rotate with blue or anything like that. Understand you game. We have to keep replacing the back face. And we get our cube green sticker. Everybody needs a friend, even if it's temporary, disposable friend that cannot use sticker powers. It's still better than no friend at all. In everyday cube life, the green power is at its most useful when reaching for something on top of a shelf that is one unit higher than the floor. Or, if you're feeling extra lazy, you can use it to fetch something from afar, such as another sticker, but you still have to concentrate on controlling your temporary green friend, even it is it but but you still have to concentrate on controlling your temporary green friend. Is it even a win in the end? Conjuring multiple green cubes to cover all of your faces with green stickers is a universal gesture of joy and excitement. All right. I understand what had to be achieved there, and we can leave through the exit. All right, that is red three and green one completed. Got all our secrets there. What does the challenge here look like? Complete the level in fewer than 500 steps. Yes, certainly some portal vibes. Green 2, a paradise preserved, six secrets. Well, that's going to be one to jump into next time. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.